A computed property is like a property that computes its value. It's actually a method that returns a value. All computed properties are methods that you add to the computed property. This is how it looks. The method should return a value. Now we can use this computed property as the value for our inline dynamic style attribute. You simply reference it like a normal data property. Whenever your in-template expressions are getting too long or complex, it makes sense to move them to a computed property. The nice part about computed properties is that they are reactive. You can bind their values in the template and an update will be triggered as soon as any of the underlying data values change. Let's make all six colors adjustable by adding the remaining five color input components in the sidebar. Make sure to change the label and replace the data property in the event handler. Try out the color change component and see how the colors in the resume update. One thing that still needs to be updated is the icon colors in the contact component. To fix that, we add icon color as a prop. And add the dynamic attribute colon fill or rebind fill equals to the prop icon color to the SVG elements. Of course, we also need to pass the prop to the component. We bind the prop to the value of cutters left highlight so that the icons get the same highlight color that the border underline and headlines of the left column get. Thanks for watching this new line tutorial. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. It helps other students find our content.